This video was made in honor of Hattie. I still miss you. We are learning about double digit subtraction in this video. You may have watched our basic subtraction video where I gave away my hats, including Hattie. It got emotional, okay? It just did. And in that video, we learned that subtraction is when you take numbers away. Let's say I have six hats, and there's no way that I need six hats that look exactly the same. Well, good news. Two of my friends need hats, and I decide to give two of my hats away. When you take numbers away, remember that is subtraction. If we were to write it out, it would look like this. Six minus two. So, how many hats do I have now if I take two away? Yes, the answer is four. I have four hats now. Now this is interesting. The answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. Can you say that with us? The difference. Yeah, the answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. That means in our example, the difference is four. So, subtraction is just taking numbers away, and the answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. Now that we have that, we want to look at bigger numbers, double digit numbers. Let's say we have a lot of blueberries. For some reason, they're just hanging out on a wooden table. We need to wash them and put them in a bowl. Let's pretend that when we were putting them in the bowl, we counted them and found that we had 66 blueberries. That's a lot of blueberries. You and your friends are hungry and blueberries are super yummy, right? So you and your friends eat 54 blueberries. That's right. These are some big numbers, some double digit numbers. To find out how many blueberries we have left, we simply subtract 54 from 66. Let's look at how that's done. Here is our subtraction problem again, 66 minus 54. With double digit subtraction, all we do is break this big problem up into two little problems. First, we will subtract the right column, the ones. To make it a little easier, we are going to cover the tens column with this blue rectangle. Suddenly, this big subtraction problem is a really easy one. What is six minus four? Do you know? Yes, 6 minus 4 equals 2. So we put the number 2 under the 1's column, the right side. Great job. We are halfway to our answer. Next, we will subtract the left column, the 10's. And this time, we're going to cover up the 1's column to make it a little easier. So, what is 6 minus 5? 6 minus 5. Uh-huh. 6 minus 5 equals 1. We will write 1 under the tens, the left column. And just like that, we have our answer. The difference is 12. There are now just 12 blueberries. All right, let's do another one. How about 87 minus 53? This should be fun. First, subtract the right side, the ones. What is 7 minus 3? Yes, 4. So we will write 4 under the ones. Simple. Next, we just subtract the left side, the tens. What is 8 minus 5? Yes, three. So we write three under the tens column. And we have our answer. The difference is 34. 
Double digit subtraction is simple. First, subtract the right, the ones. Next, subtract the left, the tens. Then you have your answer, which is also called the difference. Now, there is something interesting that can happen when you subtract larger numbers. Here, we'll show you. Say we have this subtraction problem, 22 minus 17. Let's follow the process. So first, we subtract the ones. What is 2 minus 7? Well, here's that interesting thing we mentioned to you. Say I have two carrots, and I need to give seven carrots away. That's a problem. It's hard to give away more than you have. So what do we do? Well, we do a special trick. No, not this kind of trick. Wow, he is really high up there. No, not this kind of trick either, all right? It's a math trick, okay? It's a math trick. This is the subtraction video after all. The trick is called regrouping. Can you say that? Regrouping. Yeah, regrouping. When you are subtracting a column and the bottom number is bigger than the top number, that means you need to regroup. Just like in this example, because it is hard to take away more than you have. And 7 is bigger than 2. So we need to regroup. So how does this regrouping trick work? It's really easy. All you do is borrow 1 from the tens column. What is 2 minus 1? Yeah, 1. So this number in the tens column becomes a 1. And that 1 that we borrowed from the tens, it goes to the 1s. It gets placed on this 2 in the 1s column. And now the 1s column is 12 minus 7. Now we just have to follow our subtraction game plan. We subtract the right column, the ones first. What is 12 minus 7? Hmm. Yes, 12 minus 7 equals 5. So we write the number 5 under the ones column. Then, of course, we have to subtract the tens. But regrouping made this super easy. What is 1 minus 1? Yes. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So our answer is simply 5. 5 is our difference. Remember, when you are subtracting a column and the bottom number is bigger than the top number, that means you need to regroup. And with subtraction, regrouping means borrowing. In double digit subtraction, regrouping is when you borrow one from the tens column. Let's try one more double digit subtraction problem and see if we need to use the special regrouping trick. 43 minus 25. This is going to be awesome. Remember, the first thing we do is subtract the right column, the ones. But, uh-oh, 5, the bottom digit, is bigger than 3, the top digit. Time to regroup. So, we borrow 1 from the tens column. What is 4 minus 1? Yes, 3. Then we put that 1 in front of the 3 in the 1's column, making it the number 13. Then we just follow the process, subtracting the ones column first. What is 13 minus 5? What is 13 minus 5? Yep, it is 8. So we will write 8 under the ones column. Now it's time to subtract the tens. What is 3 minus 2? What is 3 minus 2? You got it. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So we put the number 1 under the tens column, and we have our answer. 43 minus 25 equals 18. 18 is the difference. We've learned a lot, but we need to make sure we are able to remember everything. Here's an idea. 
There's this guy, Mummy, who doesn't know how to do double digit subtraction. Okay. So we are going to do a double digit subtraction review by teaching Mummy. It's simple and it's fun, Mummy. You'll love it. So, mummy, subtraction is when you take numbers away. Sometimes subtraction problems can have little numbers, or other times subtraction problems can have bigger numbers, double-digit numbers. Here's how it works, mummy. First, subtract the right column, the ones. Next, you subtract the left column, the tens. Then you have your answer, which is called the difference. Sometimes the bottom digit is bigger than the top digit in the ones column. This is something to get excited about, mummy. It means you can use a special trick called regrouping. You just borrow one from the tens column and move it to the ones column. Then just follow the plan. Thanks for helping us teach mummy. He looks happy. We hope you enjoyed learning double-digit subtraction with us. It really is fun, and you did a wonderful job.